Uh, good morning, everyone. It's good to be here. And um, I guess I've got a lot to present, so I better get stuck into it. Yeah, so basically, um, we, we made these discoveries at just south of Laverton. There's three main deposits, uh, Lady Julie Central, H and 9, and Lady Julie North 4. Lady Julie North 4 is the one that's um, had these amazing results, and we expect the resource to grow dramatically on the back of these. Um, we're, we're right in the heartland of Laverton, where there's some very big deposits. Um, the Wallaby mine, seven million ounces, and Sunrise Dam, 35 million ounces. And we're pretty close to these um, operating mills. And we'll be talking about these amazing intersections. Um, and a lot of them are very thick and high grade, and I will try to educate people on what thick and high grade, what, you know, how, how to compare various intersections that other companies can make as well. Okay, so our market cap's around 200 million. It's a bit higher today um, after our announcement was put out this morning. We have a mainly net, uh, high net worth investors as, um, I guess, as shareholders, and um, the top, top four are in about 45%, and the top 20 around 78%. So it's a very tightly held stock. Um, I have kept the share structure very tight. It's only 240 million, 44 million shares. It did list in 2007. Um, main project is at Laverton, where you can see that on the map there. Okay, so these discoveries have been made over the last five to six years. HM9 was discovered in 2019-20, then Lady Julie Central in 2021. Lady Julie North Foy is the one that we'll be mainly talking about today, and that was the last, last one that was discovered. Um, look, this, is, this slide will come up again later, but it's just to get people focused in on what we've achieved. Um, we made the announcement this morning, 126 metres at 2.8 grams, and we've been drilling downwards and been getting some amazing thick high-grade intersections, and we'll this is the main thing that we're talking about today. We are putting holes down to 500 metres. So obviously if it keeps going, the resource will grow dramatically. Okay, so where are we? We're near Laverton, just 15 kilometres south, a great um, position um, for the people to, to work. We're next door to these big operations at Wallaby, Granny Smith, Jupiter and um, Sunrise Dam. So we know some of these mills uh, need uh, gold, uh, their, their inventory is low and they need um, additional material. So we are in discussions with a number of those companies already. Okay, so this gives you a bit of a, an idea on what do, do these big mines look like and do we have anything that might be similar? Remember these mines are, are very big. Um, Sunrise Dam is 16 million ounces. Well, it'll be 7 million ounces. So obviously if we can get anything like that, that, that would be fantastic. Um, so what we see are these intrusions, cyanide intrusions at Jupiter and Wallaby. Sunrise Dam, the intrusions are at depth. The other common thing that we see are these um, load systems or shear zones, and you can see them. Uh, these shear zones are often uh, quite rich and they stack downwards. Um, at Wallaby, they're mining material down at about one kilometre depth, and Sunrise Dam, I think it's pretty deep as well. So, um, so these load systems, if you can find these and the stacking, it's a great thing to have. The other thing that we've noticed is that Sunrise Dam ha have these breccia zones, and these breccia zones uh, make their way to, to surface, often a vertical, closely associated with the, the deposits, but at the same time, these things um, bring up much higher grades, and some of them come close to surface, and others actually sub-parallel the shear zones. So these, that environment is where we're drilling at the moment, and we suspect that you know, the geological, structural and environment where we are are similar to Sunrise Dam. Okay, so... This is another map showing the, um, where, where the, the mines are and also the processing plants. So 
gold fields own the, um, the Wallaby mine and they truck to the Granny Smith processing plant. Uh, Jupiter has a, has a processing plant in Mount Morgan's and Sunrise Dam have an operation about 35 kilometres away. There is another um, company called Bright Star which have a processing plant which needs need some upgrading as well. But so there's, lit, there's four processing plants that are potentially available and we're, among, we're very close. So we're only 10 k's away from this one, 15 k's away from that, 35 from that. So very close to these major operations. Uh, this just gives you an idea of our deposits, HN9, Lady Julie Central, Lady Julie North Fork. This is the one that's emerging as being a very large deposit. It sits on a structure called the Chatterbox Shear, which goes for 32 kilometres. And I'll show you another slide later, but that's an important structure. These deposits that we have are only within a couple of kilometres of each other. So effectively, this is one mining field. So this gives you an idea on the Hawks S9 deposit. Now, look. One of the main differences is uh, we have these processing plants around us, so obviously we don't need to build a plant. The second major difference is that we have three deposits, two deposits outcrop, they start on the surface. So obviously the cost of mining these are minimal and you, you know, we can quickly get into a positive cash flow. So this deposit H9 actually outcrops, so it starts on surface and dips gently to the east. The next deposit has higher and thicker intersections and starts from surface. And you can see some of these 25 metres, four grams from surface, et cetera, et cetera. Very nice uh, starter pit for a new operation. And that's part of the potential plan that we're looking at. But the next deposit, um, the Lady Julie North Fork is the main game. And here we do have a bit of cover, 30 metres of cover, but we've had consistently high grade and thick intersections and the last one we announced today is probably the, the highest, 126 at 2.8 grams from 180 metres. Um, now a quick education, when you, it's very hard to compare different people's intersections. All you need to do is multiply the thickness times the grade. The gram thickness gives you a rough idea on potentially how good this might be. So some of these are over 100 and the last one's over 350. I'm happy with anything above 50. So these are exceptional grade thickness results. So pointing to potential for economic um, conditions that these will most likely be mined. Um, so that's what I look at. I don't just look at an intersection in isolation. Okay, so in detail, these are the holes. Every one of these holes is an intersection greater than two grams per ton. Uh, it's about 800 metres in length. We have not closed it off at depth not one of our drill holes, all our drill holes end in mineralisation. The latest uh, interpretation of it is in this area, uh, we have much thicker zones, but we believe that it's part of a, a, another structure going to the northeast. And so part of our plan is to test that. You can see some of the cross sections going through the middle uh, with some exceptional grades. 24 at 2, uh, 40, 42 at 4 grams. So pretty, pretty nice numbers. And this is obviously open down dip. Similarly with our other um, cross sections, you can see that's the latest one we put out. But up dip, there's 111 at 1.1, 1 .1, 45 at 2.65. So these are exceptional thick intersections. And again, that's open down dip. Same with these two diamond holes, 30 metres at five and a half grams, 21 at five grams, again open. Now the next slide gives you a bit of an idea of how we're thinking this. So as you go in, we think it's plunging to the northeast. And when you overlay all the drilling results, you can see all these thickened results going downwards. Uh, 138 at 2.2, and below that, 126, 60 at 1. And you can see these are our next planned drill holes. 
In fact, hole 33 um, target depth is 550 metres, and we're currently around, um, I think, about two, 290 metres. So we're working our way downwards. We've drilled another diamond hole 34 sitting in here. Uh, so we're waiting on those results. So obviously, if, if we keep getting these thick intersections, the, the um, resource will go through the roof. And that's a great thing for us. OK, so we talked about the breacher zones. Why, why are they important? Um, when we see breacher zones, uh, most geologists get, get pretty excited. They're very unusual. Uh, they come up at high, high pressure and they actually grind the rock, surrounding rocks. So these little clasps are uh, from the surrounding rocks. And, and often when these come in, in association with this silica pyrite alteration, the grades go up. And we're seeing 50 metre zones of these alteration um, in, in our system. So that's part of the reason why we suspect this is part of a much bigger system at depth. And this structure that we mentioned briefly before, uh, it's called the Chatterbox here. It goes to 32 kilometres. Starts at Beasley Creek, which is a gold deposit. Apollo, Lady Julie Northfall, which is the one we're talking about today, goes through through our ground. We have another small deposit called Lady Julie, sorry, at Mount Jumbo, sitting in here. But this deposit goes all the way towards Wallaby. So it's a, it's a very fertile structure, and that's what you look for. It's, it's very pronounced and it shows up in seismic surveys, which we completed about a year and a half ago. So we did uh, 2D and passive seismic. And you can see this structure out here is, in fact, the Chatterbox shear. So we've currently drilled that down to about 500 metres. No, we're planning to get it to 500 metres. So we're basically testing it in that area. Uh, when the seismic guys did their interpretation, uh, we were, they were talking about these vertical structures. And the vertical structures, I suspect, are part of the, the breccia mineralising system coming from depth. Looking at the scale, this, this structure or thrust zone goes down to close to two kilometres in depth. So we're just up here. But so far, we've had some tremendous results. If it keeps going down to depth, it'll end up being a world-class deposit like the ones we see next door. Um, look, in the background, we're, we're, pre we're preparing to apply for mining leases. We're hoping it happens pretty soon. All these studies, sorry, all those studies have been completed. And um, metallurgical test work results were very, very good, very high recoveries. The resource is due to be up, updated and then we'll do our economic optimization studies. Um, Clearly, the resource will grow um, much, much higher than what we published in February last year, which was about 600, so this year, 600,000 ounces. Um, so that will be done. Um, all these different flora, fauna, hydrological work that have all been completed. So um, hopefully we can apply for a mining lease over the Lady Julie North Fall deposit very soon. Um, so that's most of the talk. I've rushed through it probably too, too much, but um, the main game is Lady Julie Nils 4 and we're getting some amazing results. Um, clearly there's strong interest from our neighbours and um, we, we'll be talking to them in earnest about our results as well. Thank you.